So ladies and gentlemen, in about 24 hours, I'm gonna be biking a thousand kilometers in Taiwan. The next step was a long 25 hour flight to Taiwan. So after 25 hours of flying, I finally landed in Taiwan. But it kind of sucks that I have to wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning tomorrow to bike an extra 50 miles. Okay. Let me explain what's going on. So a while back, the travel company Student Universe offered me the opportunity to travel all the way to Taiwan under the sponsorship of the Taiwan Tourism Board. But there was a catch. This is Taiwan. I would have to embark on a biking journey around the island, covering 900 kilometers, in nine days. I found the tour guide, guys. <laughs> Hi, and a fellow sorry. biker. Hey, what's up? What's your name? Amy. Hey, what's up, Amy? Hello. She's gonna be biking with me for the next, like, 12 days? How nine days. Nine days. <laughs> nine days? How good is your leg game? Like, have uh, you been, have you been training? So, so. Uh, well, I've been school, so it's hard. But a little. <laughs> I've trained a little. We got this. Oh no, like I just learned how to ride a bike five weeks ago, so... Oh, maybe. Really? <laughs> uh, it should be interesting. Following that was a half hour ride to the hotel in which we were encouraged to rest up for the next day's endeavors. Student University is totally like spoiling us right now. Brought us to this really nice hotel. <laughs> Guys, this hotel is so nice. Like, it reminds me of the five-star hotel Far Hush finessed for us in Germany. It's six in the morning, and the bike race starts in about an hour. And I'm about almost 90% dead. As I stepped outside, I got the opportunity to meet my biking teammates. These were the people I were going to spend the next nine days with. We all hopped on a bus and rode all the way to the starting line. All right, so we're off to the bike race, but um, we are insanely late. So we're gonna try to make the meeting and grab our bikes and just go. As you can see, we got all the contestants here and all the bikes lined up. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. trying to bike up a mountain right now and it sucks my legs are like dead I'm not even joking you right right now ladies and gentlemen it finally happened it was inevitable but we finally oh, lost our group yeah, I think we lost. yep I now we're here. we're stuck in the middle of Asia we're following this guy he okay. will lead us to success Eric. I was waiting up for them because they were slow oh, ass yeah. After a short hiccup, we were able to catch up with the rest of our group. As we exit the city, our scenery turned into a surreal environment surrounded by mountains and ocean. We just exited the tunnel and it led us straight out into like this harbor bay type area and it is so nice. Guys, when did we um when did we just teleport from Taiwan to the Taj Mahal? I don't I don't understand. Are we in India right now? Damn. As we reached the end of our 90 kilometers, the exhaustion and soreness really started to set in. 
finally made it to the hotel. Look, Turn luxury. Up. It's so clean. Shots, shots, shots. Shots? Now? Shots. Right now? In the hot tub. Now, now. The Over there, shots, <laughs> shots. Yay! <laughs> Party in room 811. Okay, okay. I made 10. Nice. All right, so this is our hotel room for tonight, our MTV Cribs. <laughs> As you can see out here, we have a luxury five-star balcony with um, a bathtub full of dirt. <laughs> full of shit. <laughs> over here, we have um, bathroom, not, nothing too much. And over here, we got, some guys. We, got, we got the main, the main area. So that night, we just decided to explore the city for a bit. Oh, and also try a 7 million Scoville heat unit ice cream. Alright guys. What are you, what are you this, eating? This what is eating? spicy ice cream. It's supposed to be hotter than ghost chilies. Oh, God! <laughs> so guys, it's day two of the race. And, yo, check out this view right here. Check this view out. From... Our room. All right, day two, baby. Let's go. As we progress forward, we soon realized that the terrain ahead of us was unbikeable. We had to catch the nearest train to get to the next city. Just got off the train to our destination. We're trying to make it to, I think it's Zeben tonight, which is about 82 kilometers away. like beautiful mountains with Maria on my side and Gerald on my back you know it's not chill this is a normal day right no <laughs> it's, it's an average every day weekend <laughs> all right in here we have a Colorado cabin like interior Same over here part. my roommate Gerard and um, this is just soda over here, you know, got a little TV, and here's the bathroom with no shower curtains, once again. And over here we have like a sloth, just chilling on our couch, like, this is in your room, why are you in here? 